Around negotiations, how much influence that uh, should Congress have on uh, this process? Los Angeles, California, Republican line. Here is Jack. Go ahead. Hi, good morning. Uh, I'm Jack Strickland. I just want to make it clear, first of all, I'm calling from Bel Air, California, but I am originally from Philadelphia, specifically West Philadelphia. Uh, but anyway, I was actually discussing this issue with a friend of mine recently while I was in Philly. It occurred on the basketball court. Uh, at some point during the conversation, a couple of guys who were up to no good essentially started causing trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, and my mom got scared and said, you're moving with your auntie and uncle in Bel Air. Uh, again, for the first 45 minutes, Iran negotiations. On who had the best and worst years here in Washington, Jack is on the line now from Appalachian, New York, Republican caller. Hey, Jack. Hey, C-SPAN. Good morning. Good How morning. You doing? Good, good, good. What do you think? Well, I'm Jack Strickland. I just wanted to say that this program can suck my balls. We're going to move on now after that to Mark in King. I joined the Army, went to college, worked all my life, living a dream. Stop blaming everyone. Jack is from New York this morning on our line for Republicans. Jack, you're on the Washington Journal. Good morning, and thank you for C-SPAN. Go ahead. Well, uh, my name is Jack Strickland. I'm a very patriotic American. I believe that the American dream is alive and well. I believe it's very attainable. It wasn't that long ago I was actually having a discussion with my best friend Jesse about this, and we both came to the same conclusion. We were like, you know what? This is America. America. Fuck yeah. This All right. Apologize for that uh, profanity. Not welcome on the water. Uh, time zones. Appalachian, New York. Our first call this morning on the topic. This is Jack. Jack, good morning. Hi, good morning. I'm Jack Strickland. Uh, I don't think school segregation is really that much of an issue anymore, but I would like to say I have a really big penis. I can suck my... Uh, Jay from Southerton, Pennsylvania. World. Let's go to Jack, who's calling from Wagon Mound, New Mexico. Jack, good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm Jack Strickland. It's a very beautiful day here in Wagon Mound. You know, I read a touching article about Justice Ginsburg that was posted at a feminist website. I don't know if you've heard of... Citizens United Nationally to Stop Sexism, but feel free to look up their acronym. <clears throat> anyway, the article was written by a man named Frank Hassel, who was actually the former CEO of Hebrew National Hot Dogs. It was titled George Meets Ruth, and it's basically fan fiction about what would happen if George Floyd met Mrs. Ginsburg in the afterlife. Hassel's theory is that Floyd would rob her at gunpoint and then rape her in an alley. It was an interesting read, to say the least. Uh, I think you should check it out. Let's go to Mike, who's calling from Stockton, California. A little bit later, but Zach is on the line now from Appalachian, New York. Zach's a Republican. Good morning. Hello? Hello, Zach. Oh, hi. Uh, my name is actually Jack. I think the screener must have misheard me. Very good. Very well, Jack. Go ahead. You're calling from New York, right? Yes, I am. Who's your person of the year, sir? Well, sir, my person of the year is without a doubt. He's <laughs> not... in Sarasota, Florida, independent caller Joe. Zach is joining us from Binghamton, New York. Good morning, Republican line. Hi, Steve. So I'm really glad you're discussing this issue because it relates to my occupation. You see, I'm a, I'm a farmer in upstate New York, and I mainly grow corn and cucumbers, and sometimes I like to donate the corn to local soup kitchens, but as for the cucumbers, so I just stick with them. Leo is joining us from Ventura. Very fascinating to watch. Jack, Dallas, Republican, you're on with Joe DeGeneva. Hey, Joe, how are you doing? I'm Jack Strickland. The question I don't see being addressed is the abundance of references in her emails about AIDS, Skrillex. And what's the... Our Republican line, Jack is waiting uh, from up in New York. Jack, thanks for calling the Washington Journal this morning. Hi, I'm Jack Strickland, and good morning. Thank you, C-SPAN. Go ahead. Yeah, concerning President Obama, I was not impressed with his speech at all, and I think he's proven to the American people numerous times that he's nothing more than an empty suit. The other thing I'd like to say is that there's a rumor going around online that you're a fucking home. All right. Apologize for that. We'll uh, move on to our next... Let's go to Garland, Texas. Republican, it's Hank for Sean Trendy of Real Clear Politics. Good morning to you, Hank. Well, howdy, C-SPAN. Thank you for taking the call. You're welcome. I just got to make one thing clear. I'm actually calling from Arlen, Texas, not Garland, Texas. But with that being said, 
I think health care is going to be a very important issue this year. And I say that as a conservative Republican. See, I went to the doctor recently, and I was slapped with a bill of $1,488. And that was just for a simple procedure. I had to have some propane removed from my narrow urethra. So far, I've paid about 13% of the bill. Next month, I plan to pay off at least 50% of it. But the point here is that I'm struggling to get by due to these expenses. I still have to take my boy to the hospital because the neighbor's daughter gave him that yellow fever. Boy just ain't been right after that. Speaking of which, my neighbors came here legally from Laos, and I kind of wish they hadn't. Personally, I think President Trump should implement a total ban on immigration altogether. Might solve some problems in this country. Caller Hank there, uh, Sean Trendy, brought up a couple of different points. Iranian official said, front page, New York Times this morning. Jack in Appalachian, New York. You say no, the name should not be changed. Yeah, uh, I don't think it should be changed. And quite honestly, I don't even know why this is such an, an important issue. Uh, I think that C-SPAN should be focusing on other things rather than this bullshit. You guys really need to... All right, we're going to move on if you're going to use that kind of language. What's your thoughts on the priorities for the year? Zach, go ahead in Binghamton, New York. Hey, Zach. Hi, how you doing? Good morning. Go ahead. Hi, right, so... um. So I'm really glad you guys brought up this issue today because, um, believe it or not, I was actually in D.C. last week, and I had the pleasure of um, seeing the Washington Monument, and believe it or not, it looks exactly like my erect penis. All right, we'll move on. Gladys, uh, San Antonio.